Hello, and welcome to our video on study skills for genetics. What is genetics? Genetics is a specialty within the field of science that studies DNA and the genes contained therein to establish inheritance patterns. Genetics is an integral part of the medical, agricultural, and pharmaceutical industries. To succeed in any class, one should try to always read the assigned material at least twice. When we are unfamiliar with a concept, it is difficult to understand it and retain it if we only see it once. Just like repetition and usage help us remember words when learning a new language, it helps us grasp and understand new concepts as they relate to genetics or any other science. Use the first read-through to familiarize yourself with the terms being used. Take a break between readings so as not to overwhelm your mind. The second reading of the material should be more thorough but should be a bit easier to digest since you have already trained your mind to recognize the new words and concepts. Use the second reading to establish associations of the concepts being learned, to take notes of important concepts, to draw diagrams and or create flashcards or other study summaries. The Internet, in addition to any resources provided by your instructor, the Academic Support Center, or Purdue Global, is a great tool for supplementing your learning. Do some research and take advantage of any educational videos in the topic or concept being learned. YouTube videos can be great at demonstrating concepts. Listen to podcasts on the topic and make use of the academic resources provided to you free of charge by the university. It is also always good to know how to reach the Academic Science Center tutors for any clarification or help needed during the course of your class. To understand genetics, one needs to become familiar with a lot of new concepts. As mentioned earlier, it can be compared to learning a new language. Reading notes out loud and or recording those notes and listening to them over and over can help us retain the concepts. Repetition is practice and practice usually helps improve performance. A great student, just like a great athlete, is one that makes time for practice and repetition. There is no better feeling than learning something new. When we can communicate with others what we learned, we have truly understood the material. Being able to explain the newly acquired information or concepts with individuals that are not in the field is a true sign of success. Using analogies and making the information relatable to things we know or are used to can help us master the material. Trying to learn all the information at once may seem daunting and can be overwhelming and lead to frustration. Break out the learning into small, digestible chunks. Set goals for each day. Take breaks. Practice and try to master one topic before going to the next. Most of the learning builds on previous knowledge. Analogies are a great way to remember concepts. If we can compare or relate a newly learned concept to something we already know the meaning of, it makes that new concept relatable easy to understand, and therefore, easy to remember. An example of a very well-known analogy in genetics is that of DNA. DNA is often referred to as the blueprint of life. In other words, DNA is the map or the instruction manual of life. Another known analogy is that of a locus. A locus is the address or location of a particular gene within the DNA. You can come up with your own analogies or use some of the already well-established ones. Mnemonics is a fun way to help organize and retain important information. This technique connects new learning to prior knowledge through the use of visual and or acoustic cues. The basic types of mnemonic strategies rely on the use of keywords, rhyming words, or acronyms. The following slides provide a couple of examples that can help in the genetics class. Use the ones provided or come up with your own creative mnemonics. Go Sally Go! Make Children! is a common mnemonic used to remember the order and stages of the cell cycle. The order of the steps in the mitosis or meiosis process can be difficult to remember. PMAT is often used to assist with memorizing the steps in the correct order. Cut the pie, but don't eat it. This mnemonic is used to remember which of the nucleotides in the nucleic acids, RNA and DNA, are purines and which are pyrimidines. By process of elimination, what is not a pyrimidine is a purine. A dihybrid cross, one that combines two features, can be overwhelming. Using the FOIL method can help sort out all the gamete possibilities. Use diagrams and drawings to help understand and remember the concepts. Visualizing the structures and mechanisms can help retain the information. In this video, we have gone over a few tips to help you with studying anatomy and physiology. For more study skills, visit our YouTube page titled Ask ASC. Thank you and have a great day!